What's going on guys? I'm Flex Zero, your tech hero, and today we are going to be unboxing the Razer Nari Ultimate and doing a full review on it. Now I know this headset isn't new, but I wanted a wireless headset and my whole setup is almost already all Razer products, so I had to go with a Razer headset. Now the headset that this will be replacing is the Astro A40s with the mix amp to go along with it, and I can honestly say that that was the best headset that I have ever used. And I've used a lot. They lasted me over four years, and actually the first YouTube video I ever made was on the A40s. In fact, if I wasn't trying to make everything in my setup Razer, I probably would have got the Astro A50s instead. Now I had the Razer Krakens before I switched to the Astro A40s, and they lasted probably two or three months before the cord ripped out the end of them, and I wasn't really doing anything that would have made that happen. But this Razer headset doesn't have a cord, so I think I'll be all right. With that being said, let's get to the unboxing part of this video. Okay, so Razer Nari Ultimate, as always, Razer has a great packaging system here. Uh, just a couple things to mention, it's got game chat balance, wired and wireless connections. It uses a 2.4 gigahertz dongle. It's powered by Razer Chroma, so that's gonna sync with all our Razer Chroma stuff. It's got THX spatial audio for surround sound, auto adjusting headband with swiveling ear cups, and it doesn't say it on the box, but this is a retractable mic. So let's go ahead and open this baby up. So really nice packaging. It's got foam insert on top right here. Let's uh, pull the headset out. And just feeling it for the first time, I can tell this is a very high quality headset. It looks like it's made out of brushed aluminum. These are the side panels that work with Razer Synapse. This Razer logo lights up. And it's got a mic that comes out and also retracts. So that's a very nice feature, very nice. Now what else do we have in the box? We have a micro USB cable. It's not type C, but it'll have to do. And we have a 3.5 millimeter aux cord. Also, it comes with the manual, you can't forget that. So this is everything that came in the box. The micro USB cable. The 3.5 millimeter aux cable, the manual, and of course, the headset. So guys, let's go ahead and head over to the computer so we can set all this up. So first thing I'm gonna have to do is unplug those Astro A40s because we won't be using them anymore. So look how many wires came from just unplugging all that. This should save a ton of space. So under the headset is actually where the USB dongle is hidden. And all you're gonna do is press that in and pop it out. Now, if you can see, that's 2.4 gigahertz, and we're gonna plug this in right under the desk down there. Now, just really quick, I'm gonna compare the Astros with the Nari Ultimate. So first, the Astro headset feels really good in your head. It fits good. Now, this is something I noticed. When I do this, the headset doesn't fall off my head or anything. Now let's do that with the Nari Ultimate. And you can see it quickly falls off my head. So I think these ear cups are a little bit bigger than the Astros. They both feel comfortable. However, I think the Astros does fit better for my head at least. So let's try the mic on the Nari Ultimate. All we gotta do is pull it out. And then when we're not using it, just push it back in. Now with the Astros, you just put it down and pull it back up. So it's really your preference on that. Now you can also see that the Astros are kind of hard to swivel. You know, I'm putting a good bit of force to swivel these, but the Nari Ultimate, they are turning just like almost automatically. Like I'm not putting any force. Now down here, you got your mute button, your volume control, your power button, your micro USB, and your 3.5 millimeter aux jack. Whereas all the controls for the Astro were on the mix amp. And of course, the big difference, this headset has RGB. So let's go to the computer and set this up. So I already plugged the dongle in and updated Razer Synapse. Now all that's left to do is turn on the headset. And you can see the RGB illuminates on the side when it's turned on. And the Razer Nari headset has popped up on the screen. And you can see we got almost full battery. So let's click on Razer Nari Ultimate. Okay, so spatialization modes, we got stereo, surround sound, and game mode. I'm gonna test these out. So stereo sounds like a helicopter is going to the left and to the right ear. 
All right, that's really awesome. I can hear the helicopter blades go all around me with surround sound. So it says right here, it is recommended to set all volume levels to a maximum and then use the on headset controls as you master volume control. So turn all your volume up at the bottom and then fool with the knob. So let's go over the mixer. So it's automatically got THX spatial audio turned on and it's using like helicopter blades of sound and I hear it from all around me. That's really cool. All right, let's click on enhancement. I'm not gonna fool with any of this right now, but you can change the bass boost, the voice clarity, the sound normalization, and the haptic intensity. Let's click on EQ or equalizer. And I'm not gonna mess with any of this right now either. But if you want to, you can set all of these tabs individually. And let's click on mic. Now I have a Blue Yeti mic, so I won't actually be using the headset microphone, but you can change your mic volume, your mic sensitivity, you can add enhancements, volume normalization, ambient noise reduction, and vocal clarity. Now if we click on lighting, the most important part of all this, you can see it's going through spectrum cycling right now. I'm gonna turn the RGB off, and it turns off on the headset. Now I'll turn it back on. And you can also bring the brightness down or up, but even at the highest brightness, this really isn't very bright, so I'm gonna leave it on 100 all the time probably. I just hope it doesn't drain the battery really fast. So there's really only four RGB effects that you can use. There's spectrum cycling, which is right now. There's breathing, which is in and out two colors. I'm gonna turn it to green and red. So you can see there's uh, green right there. And then it fades out and comes back at red. Okay, so. There's also static, which is just a static color. We got that set to green. And then there's audio meter, which will go off of what the mic picks up and it'll just change colors like that. But I actually think I'm gonna keep it on static green just to try and conserve some battery life. So last there's this power tab. And this is really cool. It's got a power saving mode. The device will turn off after X minutes of inactivity. So right now it's set to 15. I'm gonna leave it at 15 because if I'm not here for 15 minutes, then I'm probably not coming back. Now this review wouldn't be complete unless we actually did some testing on this headset. So I'm gonna load up some Warzone and I'll play a few games. And I'm gonna try to compare the Nari Ultimate to the Astro A40s. See which one, you know, what's the pros and cons? Okay, so I actually played more than a few games and here's a few things I noticed about the Razer Nari Ultimate. So firstly, I wasn't expecting this headset to have as much bass as it did. It was literally like a rumble pack was on my head, vibrating my face every time a grenade went off or there was gunshots in the area. That took a few games to get used to and at first I didn't know how I felt about it. But as I played more and more, I started to actually like it. It makes the whole experience really immersive and for a second had me thinking I was actually in the war zone. And that being said brings me to my next point which is the surround sound on this headset is absolutely amazing. If I'm comparing the surround sound of the Nari Ultimate to the surround sound of the Astro A40s, the Nari Ultimate hasn't beat in my opinion, at least by a little bit. I was able to hear footsteps from a lot further away and also able to pinpoint what direction they were coming from a lot more accurately. There should be near 0% chance someone should be able to sneak up behind you while using this headset. In the game at least. Now on the other hand they might be able to sneak up on you in real life because the noise cancellation on these headphones are also excellent. I have an AC in my room and also my computer fans make a good bit of noise and these headphones almost blocked them out completely, something my A40s didn't do as well. I also really like how the volume dial, mute button and game chat equalizer is right there on the headset as well. So now I'm going to turn on Spotify and see how this headset does playing some music. So after listening to a few songs on this headset, it does sound really good and crisp. The bass probably is the most noticeable, sometimes being overpowering on a few songs, but don't forget you can adjust all the settings in the equalizer section. Guys, this headset's amazing. If I had to think of a con, the battery life is about the only thing I could say. And I'm not sponsored by Razer, I should be, but I'm not, so they're not paying me to say this. If I had to give this headset a rating, I'd say 9 out of 10, without a doubt, 9 out of 10. It feels good, it looks good, it sounds amazing. You know, there's nothing not to love about this headset. 
with that being said guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did smash that like button if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button we do a lot of tech videos on this channel and i'll see you in the next one